welcome everyone. Happy New Year and welcome to the reorganization meeting of the Delanco Township Committee, January 4th, 2021, 7 p.m. Um, please be advised that proper notice of this meeting has been given in compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act in the following manner. Written notice has been mailed to the Burlington County Times and Courier Post and published in the December 28th, 2020 editions. Written notice has been posted on the official bulletin board of the Township of Delanco at least 48 hours prior to the meeting. Please take notice that in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10 colon 4-6, and in consideration of executive orders 103, 104, and 107 issued by Governor Murphy, declaring a state of emergency and a public health emergency in the state of New Jersey, the Township of Delanco does hereby notify the public that to protect the health, safety, and welfare of our citizens while ensuring the continued functioning of government, the 2021 reorganization meeting of the Delanco Township Committee scheduled for January 4th, 2021, is available in electronic format for members of the public who wish to participate in the meeting remotely. Um, the password and the I meeting ID have been posted on the bulletin board, posted on our website and the front window and door of the Delanco Ta uh, Township uh, Municipal Building. Advanced public comments will be accepted via written letter or electronic mail and all advanced written comment, all advanced comments must be received no later than six hours prior to the comm commencement of the published public meeting start time. Um, or they may be mailed to or submitted to the municipal clerk's email or uh, at the municipal clerk's attention at 770 Coopertown Road, Delanco, New Jersey. Members of the public who wish to make comments or have questions during the meeting, pub, during the public comment session, may either make their comments or questions via the audio option or by typing their comment or question via the Zoom platform chat option um, to all participants, not just to a specific participant. And this will happen during the public comment session. Um, uh, public comments or questions submitted via the chat function during the time when the meeting is officially open to the public will be read. Other comments, questions submitted via the chat function at any other time during the meeting may or may, may or may not be read during the meeting. Members of the public who are deemed to be disruptive as defined by NJAC 5-39-1 may be muted after an initial warning for the duration of the public comment session and or the remainder of the remote meeting session. And the agenda is available for this remote meeting on the Delanco Township website www.delancotownship.com under agendas. And at this time, I will ask that Pastor Trinidad um, please give our invocation for our reorganization meeting. Hey, um, good evening. Um, my name is Valesca Trinidad and I am the newly appointed pastor at Dobbins Memorial United Methodist Church. Um, and by the grace of God, I'm here in this wonderful community and I'm looking forward to serve alongside with all of you. And I wanna um, say thank you to all of you and uh, Mayor Templeton for the invitation to be here with you tonight. I'm gonna keep it short because I know that you have a big agenda and, and I wanna be invited again. So if I talk too much, you probably will put me out. <laughs> so um, let us prepare our minds and our hearts um, and please join me in the word of prayer. God of wisdom and might, thank you for your presence in our lives and your abundant blessings. We ask you that you continue to bless, heal, and unite our nation, that you continue to impart wisdom to our leaders. We ask that you continue to bless our community here in the Lanco and the communities around us. We pray for those that are sick, in pain, grieving and in need. And we give you thanks and I ask for your protection for all the heroes of our time that continue to expose their lives for the well-being of others. As I have the honor and privilege to bless and lift up in prayer this amazing group of people that you have chosen to serve our community, I give you thanks for their lives and their commitment to serve. I thank you for all the hard work and all the accomplishments in the midst of all the challenges that the, they encountered the last year. 
And as we start a new year, we look forward with hope. They recognize the privilege and the service um, to this community and the big responsibility that they have, but they also recognize that they cannot do it alone. And for that reason, as they get ready for this new year, this new agenda, new plans, ideas, dreams, and challenges, I ask you for unity, for wisdom, for understanding, for courage, passion, and guidance in the matters at hand. I ask that you will clearly show them the way to work with a spirit of service, justice, and love for one another. In your precious name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Trinidad. Certification of election of Fernand Olette to the Delanca Township Committee. The Board of County Canvassers of Burlington County, New Jersey, the said board do determine that an election held in said county on the third day of November in the year of our Lord, uh, 2020, Fernando Lett of Delanco Township was duly, duly elected uh, to the Delanco Township Committee. And this is uh, set here unto by Joseph Dugan, Chairman of the Board of County Canvassers, attest jo by Joanne Schwartz, County Clerk. And at this time, let's see. Mr. Olat needs to take his oath of office. And Mr. Olat, will you raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me? I, Fernando Olat. I, Fernando Olat. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of New Jersey. Of the state of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established in the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of the office of township committee. All of the duties Remember. of township committee. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Olet. Thank you. Congratulations. And at this time, for 2021, we need to, the Township Committee needs to appoint a mayor for the town. Is there a motion uh, to appoint a mayor for Delanco Township for 2021? I would like to motion that we uh, nominate Michael Templeton uh, to be mayor for the year 2021 for the Township of Delanco. I'll second that. Yes. Okay. And uh, are there any other nominations? So we would move forward, Mr. Ola and Ms. Holland, if you would uh, uh, confirm that you would uh, motion and second that Michael Templeton be appointed mayor of Delanco Township for 2021. I so motion. And I second. Thank you. And uh, roll call, I will, Mr. Brown. Yes. Ms. Fitzpatrick. She's muted. Is she muted? Okay. I don't. Did she drop off again? No, she's down there, and she mouthed. Yes. I think. Okay. Abstain. Oh, we abstain. Okay. Miss Holland. Yes. Mr. Olette. Yes. And Mr. Templeton. Yes, thank you. Okay. 
Motion carries. Um, Mr. Templeton, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Michael Templeton. I, Michael Templeton. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And, and that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties. All the duties. Of the office of mayor. Of the office of mayor. Of Delanco Township. Of Delanco Township. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Congratulations, Mayor Templeton. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And at this time. And at this time, my job is done and I will turn the meeting over to Mayor Templeton. Thank you so much. Um, greetings everyone. Thank you for being with us this evening. The first uh, reorganization meeting in Delanco history. I'm sure the, uh, the newly named history board will document that uh, yeah. in their records. Uh, this pandemic has caused a lot of suffering. Uh, but it has shown a light on those who are selfless and those who go to battle against COVID every day, everywhere from hospitals to grocery stores. This evening is inspiring. We are swearing in residents who have volunteered to serve you on our boards and commissions. Thank, thank, to all, thank you to all who are being sworn in and those continuing to serve, giving of your time and talents. You too are selfless. I'd like to welcome back uh, or welcome uh, committeeman, uh, Mr. Ouellette, uh, from his re-election. And I'd like to extend my thanks to Ms. Uh, Christine Holland for her uh, assistance and guidance and uh, being uh, a great help to me during this past year, a very difficult year and very different year. So appreciate that. Thank you, Chris. Uh, this evening, the uh, newly constituted Township Committee will authorize several functions and agreements. We will make appointments for professional services, municipal duties, and volunteer positions. Um, and we'll get started here. Let's see. Uh, I need a deputy mayor. Do I have a motion or a nomination for a deputy mayor? I would like to make the motion nominating Fernalette to be deputy mayor. I'll second that motion. A motion by Chris Holland, a second by Ms. Fitzpatrick, that Fernanda Lett be appointed Deputy Mayor of Delanco Township for 2021. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Ms. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Ms. Holland. Yes. Mr. Elect. Yes. Mr. Templeton. Yes. And an oath of office, please. Okay. Mr. Elect, please raise your right hand. And repeat after me, I, Fernando Lett. I, Fernando Lett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States in the United States and in this state and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people and that I will faithfully and that I will faithfully impartially impartially and justly perform and justly perform all the duties all the duties of the office of deputy mayor of the office of deputy mayor of Delanco Township of Delanco Township According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Deputy Mayor Olet. Thank you. Mm 
All right, moving on. Uh, Township Committee liaison positions, appointments by consent roll call. Uh, for Mr. Templeton, uh, administration, staff, finance, joint insurance fund, open space co liaison, municipal court co liaison, and environmental advisory board. For Ms. Holland, uh, library, economic development advisory board, shared services, river route, code enforcement. Recreation Commission co liaison and Construction Coal Code Services co liaison. Mr. Brown, Fire Commissioners, Fire Department, EMS, Shade Tree Commission, Burlington County Freeholders, and Code Enforcement and Construction Code Services co liaison. Ms. Fitzpatrick uh, Dyson, Senior Citizens, Recreation Commission co liaison, History Board, and Open Space co liaison. And Mr. Allette, uh, Municipal Court Co Liaison, uh, Board of Education and Sewerage Authority. Uh, motion, please. I'll so move to appoint those uh, committee liaison positions. Second. Motion. motion by Mr. Brown, second by Ms. Holland. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Ms. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Ms. Holland. Yes. Mr. Olet. Yes. Mr. Templeton. Yes. Uh, Local Board of Health, uh, a motion please to appoint uh, Mr. Brown, Ms. Holland, Ms. Fitzpatrick, Mr. Templeton, and Mr. Allett to be appointed to Local Board of Health for 2021. So moved. Second. Roll call please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Ms. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Ms. Holland. Yes. Mr. Olet. Yes. Mr. Templeton. Yes. All right, consent agenda items. Consent agenda items, are, agenda items are considered to be routine, will be enacted with a single motion. Any item requiring discussion will be removed from the consent agenda. All consent agenda items will be reflected in full in the minutes. This is a consent agenda for resolutions 2021-1.1 through 2021-20.3. Resolution 2021-1.1, uh, requiring advance written notice of all meetings of the Township of Delanco. Resolution uh, oh, 2 is establishing the regular meeting dates of the Township of Delanco. Resolution 3, establishing public officials bonds for 2021. Resolution 4 is adopting a cash management plan. Resolution 5, authorizing signatures on Township checks. Resolution 6, authorizing investment of idle funds and fund transfers. Resolution 7, establishing interest rates for delinquent taxes within the Township of Delanco. Resolution 8, authorizing the forgiveness of interest on tax payments paid within 10 days of due date. Resolution 9, authorizing the assessor to file with the Burlington County Board of Taxation such appeals as may be necessary to maintain accuracy and equality in the assessment list of the Township of Delanco. Resolution 10, appointing James Fatterini as Municipal Public Defender for 2021. Uh, resolution 11, appointing Daniel G as Municipal Prosecutor for 2021. Resolution 12, authorizing a tax assessor to handle rollback assessment matters on behalf of the Township of Delanco. Resolution 13, authorizing representatives to participate in meetings of the Burlington County Shared Services Forum. Uh, resolution 14, resolution of the committee of the Township of Delanco County of Burlington, New Jersey, authorizing the township's participation in collaborative municipal efforts for the multi mutual purpose of generating and sharing ideas concerning municipal cost saving efforts for the benefit of municipalities participating and authorizing the Delanco Township Committee members, its township administrator and or assistant township administrator to represent the township of Delanco at joint meetings. Resolution 15, appointing joint, appointing uh, fund commissioner, Jifush fund commissioner, uh, Aaron Provenzano. Resolution 16, appointing alternate fund commissioner to the joint insurance fund, John Brown. Resolution 17, resolution designating official newspaper for local publication for the township of Delanco. Resolution 18, authorizing purchase of fuel from Pedroni Fuel under state contract in accordance with NJSA 40A colon 11-12. Resolution 19, adopting a temporary budget. Resolution 20.1, canceling delinquent, delinquent tax balances under $10. Resolution 20.2, appointing a temporary substitutes for municipal prosecutor. Resolution 20.3, a 
uh, resolution appointing municipal public agency compliance officer Richard Schwab. A motion, please. So moved. So moved. Second. Who got that? Kate. I did. I moved. Tom, are you the second? Yes. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mrs. Patrick? Yes. Ms. Holland? Yes. Mr. Olette? Yes. Mr. Templeton? Yes. All right, consent agenda for appointments. Fair and open competitive process resolutions 2020, 2021, uh, resolution 21.1 through 2125. Uh, resolution 2021-21.1, resolution authorizing the amount of the award of contract for professional services through fair and open competitive contract provisions, Township Solicitor Douglas Heinhold, Raymond Coleman Heinhold, LLP. Resolution 21.2, resolution authorizing the amount of award of contract for professional services through fair and open competitive contract provisions to the township engineer, Christopher Knoll, Environmental Resolutions Incorporated. Resolution 22, resolution authorizing the amount of award of contract for professional services through the fair and open competitive contract provisions, township auditor, Robin Verso and Verso and Stewart. Resolution 23, resolution authorizing the amount of award of contract for professional services through fair and open competitive contract provisions, township planner, Scott Taylor, Taylor Design. Resolution 24, authorizing uh, the amount of award of contract for professional services through fair and open competitive contract provisions, risk, man risk management consultant for Burlington County Joint Insurance Fund, Steve Walsh, EJA capacity. Uh, consent roll call for resolutions uh, 2021, 21.1 through 24. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Ms. Fernalette with the motion. Yes. And a second by Chris Holland. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mrs. Patrick. Yes. Ms. Holland. Yes. Mr. Olette. Yes. Mr. Templeton. Yes. I should have brought a bigger glass of water. Non-competitive professional appointments, resolution 2021-25, resolution authorizing professional services appointment of affordable housing planner, Mary Beth Lonergan of Clark Kent and Hintz. Uh, resolution-26, resolution authorizing professional services appointment for special counsel, employment law attorney, Susan Hodges of Parker McKay. A motion, please. So moved. Second. Okay. Motion by Mr. Brown, second by Mr. Lett. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mrs. Patrick? Yes. Ms. Holland? Yes. Mr. Olette? Yes. Mr. Templeton? Yes. Thank you. All right. Appointments by consent roll call. Now, as we move into this with everybody online here, if uh, you can unmute but keep the background noise uh, to a minimum, please. As I read your name uh, for the different line items for your position that you're being pointed to, can you just acknowledge that with I'm here or yes? Uh, that way, Mrs. Lohr, municipal clerk, can check you off that you're at the end of when I get through all this and you jointly take your oath that uh, that has been completed. And otherwise, if you don't acknowledge then we'll have to come in and see Mrs. Lohr and accomplish that at a later time. Does that, that work for you, Mrs. Lohr? That's fine. Just let me know that you're here. Um, you're going to stay for the group oath and um, that way I don't have to track you down later on. Okay, first couple are for township spat, uh, staff and I can see they're all here so there's no need to acknowledge. Uh, appointments by consent roll call. Township administrator for 2021, Richard Schwab. Here. Assistant Township Administrator for 2021, Janice Lohr. Deputy Township Clerk for 2021, Catherine Martin. Deputy Registrar of Vital Statistics for 2021, Aaron Provenzano. Alternate Deputy Registrar for 2021, Beverly Russell. Yes. Municipal Improvement Search Officer and Deputy Treasurer for 2021, Janice Lohr. Uh, Tax Search Officer for 2021, Jennifer Delaval. Uh, police matrons for 2021, Danielle Berry. 
crossing guards for 2021, James McKendrick, Bernard Seide, Nancy Rust, Jessica Badovic, Debbie, Debbie Logue, and Nicholas Mel Melchiari. Right. Shade Tree Commission, one five-year term to December 31st, 2025, uh, Marilyn Entman. Environmental Advisory Board, two three-year terms expiring uh, December 31st, 2023, Christina Martins, Ed Murfin. Here. Mr. Murfin is here. History Board, two three-year terms expiring uh, December 31st, 2023. Steve McLaughlin. I'm here. Steve McLaughlin's here. Carolyn Seuss. I'm here. Thank you. History Board, one one year term to uh, December 31st, 2021. Township Committee Representative Kate Fitzpatrick. Joint Land Use Board, class three, one year term expiring December 31st, 2021. Uh, Fernand Ouellette. Here. Okay. Uh, Economic Advisory Council, two three year terms to December 31st, uh, 2023. Uh, Shirley Rossi, John Brown. Recreation Commission, three five year terms to December 31st, 2025. Maureen Hildebrand. Maureen. And Maureen, I see you there. Uh, Phil McFadden. Stephen Lord. Here. Thank you, Stephen. Did we see uh, Maureen? I see Maureen. her. Yes. Okay. She's there and she's waiting. Okay. okay. Apparently oh. she can hear. So. Okay. She's, how, she's how about Phil McFadden? I did see both of them. I hear the baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. so I think you missed me. This is Marilyn Entman. Hi, Marilyn. Hi. Hi Dr. Okay, you're on. We, we read, I read. Uh, I read your appointment, Marilyn. So hang in there. We'll we'll get the oath in a couple in a minute or two. Okay. Uh, Recreation Commission alternate number two, five year term to December thirty first, twenty twenty five. Amber Pumutter. Here. Uh, sewage Authority unexpired term to January thirty first, twenty twenty five. Kate Fitzpatrick. Uh, Zoning Code Enforcement Officer for twenty twenty one. Jeffrey Reeve. Rental and Code Inspectors for 2021, John Miller, Paul Hardiford, Jeffrey Reeve. Substitute Certificate of Habitability Inspector for 2021, John Miller, Jeffrey Reeve, and Paul Hardiford. Deputy Zoning Officer for 2021, Janice Lohr. A motion, please. I moved. Second. Owen, John Brown, thank you. Roll call. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mrs. Patrick? Kate dropped off again. No, she's muted. She's mute. Hi, Kate. Unmute. No, she's gone. She's gone now. I keep. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah you I can keep, see her. Yeah, it keeps coming on and off. Okay. I was thinking maybe I had to go sign in on my um, computer. Okay. Well, it, we're doing the roll call for all the appointments. Yeah, I heard uh, that. And um, so I'm, I'm in, yes. Okay, thank you. Ms. Holland. Yes. Mr. Olette. Yes. And Mr. Templeton. Yes, thank you. Uh, mayor's appointments to the Joint Land Use Board. Joint Land Use Board Class 1, Mayor's designee one year term expiring December 31st, 2021, Mr. Tom Finan. Joint Land Here. Use Board, uh, thanks Tom. Uh, class 2, one year term expiring December 31st, 2021, uh, Janice Lohr. Joint Land Use Board Class Four, uh, two year, two four year terms expiring uh, December 31st, 2024. Uh, Bill Matalevich, Carl Tarashi. I saw a phone come up. Is Bill here or Carl? I'm here. Carl's here. Hi, Carl. Hi. Hi, Carl. How about Bill? <clears throat> uh... Okay. Didn't see him. Uh, no. I didn't see him on the computer. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Carl. 
All right, oath of office, please. Uh, Mrs. Lohr or Mr. Heinhold going to do that? Mr. Mr. Heinhold, because I need to take All an right. oath. <laughs> take my oath. All right, everyone, good to see you. a lot of familiar faces. This is a little bit uh, cha the chaotic part of the night, but um, just try and stick together. We'll get through it, and we're going to do this all as one. So raise your right hands where you are. I state your name. I, Carl. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. In the Constitution. And the Constitution. Constitution. Of the state of New Jersey. Of the state of New Jersey. Of the state of New Jersey. They will bear true faith and allegiance. I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. To the same. And, and to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. And this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority, the authority of the people. And I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. faithfully impartially. 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 And justly perform. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of the office of. All the duties of the office of. Of the office of. Of the office of. According to the best of my ability. According, According to the best, best of my ability. ability. So help me God. So help me God. God. So help me God. Congratulations and thanks for your service. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Well done. Did we just lose Janice. I think we did. Okay, everybody, hang on a second. I think we lost Janice. Good job, Doug, as always. She's there. She's muted, though. There. Kate, did you call in through a phone? Uh, no, I'm still, okay. can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. You, okay. hear me? you got me back? I got you back. Okay, thank you. Okay, see you, Janice. Okay. okay. Someone was reverbing, which means they're logged in twice. I was just trying to figure out who it was. Oh, I wonder if it was me because it just kept reconnecting me. Okay, maybe maybe it was. I think we're okay now. Okay. Are we up to the next item? Yes. Um, do you have anything you need to clear up, Mrs. Lohr, until we before proceeding? No, that was great. I I got everyone's name, and um, I'm going to send out your oath of office in the mail to you. Just please sign it and return it um, to me. Either drop it off in a drop box, uh, bring it to the municipal building when we're open, or send it back in the mail. Very good. Well done. That's a first. That right, 2020 a holiday decorating contest. Uh, recreation, Mr. McFadden or? Uh, Actually, uh, Phil asked me if I would read them. Great. This, this was um, very difficult decisions this year. We had a lot of homes. Uh, and um, I was one of the judges. We, I, I think most of us went out and viewed them. So um, bear with me as I read them. First place, 1605 Second Street. Second place, it was a tie. 14 Teeman Circle. Oh, please call me. 14 Teeman Circle and eight Wilverton Place. Third place, ties. 2001 Burlington Avenue, 2020, or 225 Edgewood Avenue, 403 Iowa Avenue, and 79 Ships Way. Honorable mentions, 402A Burlington Avenue, 705 Burlington Avenue, 715 Burlington Avenue, 301 Edgewood Avenue, 4 Harris Court, 306 Hazel Avenue, 713 Hickory Street, 838 Laurel Street, 615 Mulberry Street, 317 Oakford Avenue, 304 Walnut Street, 
and 415 West Avenue. Every one of those properties should be congratulated. And there were even many more that decorated in town. Our town was so lit up, it was absolutely beautiful. So thank you, everyone. Well done. And thank you, Erin, for doing a great job putting this together. How many miles did you have to put on doing the survey? I had to do it more than once because there were so many and uh, it was difficult to see the house number. So I went out three different nights because I was by myself. It's very, it, it was an, an easy task. So, but it, it was fun. Well done. Thank you. Thank you everybody on recreation and all the participating uh, homes that, uh, that uh, make our town a beautiful place for the holidays and year round. Uh, this is the fun part. Employee years of service recognition. Uh, we started doing this a couple of years, uh, five year brackets. Uh, so, uh, start off uh, five years of uh, service and uh, to the community. Uh, Aaron Provenzano and Aaron uh, works in the tax office. She's also the joint GIF fund commissioner and uh, he kind of became our go-to IT and and Zoom specialist during uh, COVID here. So uh, Officer Michael Hirschfeld, uh, Police Department, Department of Public Works, Larry Edmonds, uh, 15 year service, uh, Sergeant Basil Warren, Delanco Police, uh, Carol Gunkel, uh, 20 years, Jennifer Esposito, Court Administration. Um, Jennifer, uh, Ms. Esposito, I'm surprised, uh, well, she, uh, like many people in town, uh, many t in the administration, just an extraordinary effort. Uh, Jennifer or Ms. Esposito is a, a, a one person operation there uh, running our municipal court and uh, with all the changes, COVID and everything else, it's been uh, a trying year for her. So appreciate uh, 20 years of service there. Um, something I was looking at today, uh, Delanco is a named place. It's been around for about 150 years, something like that, plus or minus. And we have John Fenimore, superintendent of public works, has worked for the township of Delanco as an employee for 50 of those years. So one third of the history of Delanco Township, Mr. Fenimore has been uh, taking care of streets and trees and uh, everything else that uh, comes his way. So uh, that's truly a remarkable record there. So thank you all. Thanks uh, for the great work, uh, especially in this, this uh, trying year. Uh, let's see, continuing on, report of advanced remote meeting comments and questions. Mrs. Lohr, would you mind reading this? Uh, this section is to acknowledge and read those comments and questions received by the municipal clerk in advance of the remote meeting, either via electronic email or written letter. And this is required under NJSE. AC 5 colon 39-1. Um, during this section, this just acknowledges if there's any advanced written comments or questions. And for the record, I will report that I received none. So Mayor, if you'd like, you can move on to where you opened the meeting to the public uh, for comments and questions. For anyone here um, that would is participating, they can unmute and ask a question or have a comment, or they can put that in via their chat function. I'll open up uh, this portion of the reorganization, meet, organization meeting to the public. Uh, I, I will remind you that we have a regular meeting, uh, business meeting of the township committee next Monday night, uh, which would be a little more of a normal format, again, on remotely via Zoom, but uh, the meeting is now open to the public uh, for any questions or comments at this time. And if you'd unmute, unmute uh, state your name, address, and what's on your mind. I'm not seeing or hearing any. No, I see nothing okay. in the chat queues uh, either, Mayor. So anyone that wishes to make a comment or have a question, please unmute yourself and state your name and address. The meeting is open to the public for public comments and questions. Okay. Uh, Hearing none, and I'm not seeing any, please confirm that. And uh, at this point, the meeting is now closed to the public. Uh, comments, Township Committee, uh, Ms. Fitzpatrick. 
Uh, well, I'd like to say that I'm looking forward to continuing to serve the residents of Delanco and to be accessible for them. Um, I'm hoping for better times for all of us that, um, and that we can begin to conduct meetings in the municipal building shortly. Uh, it looks like things are moving forward and um, uh, I'm just happy to be on the committee and doing what I feel um, really good about. Um, I'd also like to mention that Erin Provenzano also serves as the secretary to the Recreation Commission. And I can tell you that I don't know what we would do without her. She does a super job and I know it's a lot of work. So Erin, um, thank you for all you do. We certainly do appreciate you. I'd also like to thank all of the employees and the volunteers because Delanco couldn't be the town we are without our staff, without our volunteers, and also to my dear friend, John Fenimore, God bless you, 50 years. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Uh, Ms. Holland. Um, yeah, I, I want to say thank you for uh, an interesting uh, first year. Um, my fellow committee members, the staff and uh, township administration, as well as the professionals who took so much time um, to try to get me up to speed. I, I wrongly thought that I was going to join the committee and wow you all uh, like some kind of first year elected savant. Um, but there's an endless amount of information coming at all times. It's been great and humbling and um, I'm looking forward to just being a committee woman this year and, uh, and, and absorbing everything I can and, and hopefully COVID goes away and uh, we can all interact and, and find opportunities to gather in the community uh, this coming year. So thank you to all and uh, good luck on your next term as mayor and deputy mayor. Yeah, we're, every, every day we're learning something too. So don't, uh, it's, it's not unique to the first year. Um, Mr. Brown. Yes, thank you, mayor. Uh, I want to congratulate Fernalet, fellow uh, committee member, for being uh, for for your election win and to be nominated deputy mayor. Town's in good hands, and Mayor Mike Templeton, uh, year number two coming at you. Hopefully, it's a better year. Uh, hopefully, we get off the computer screen and get back into the public forum. Although this hasn't been bad, I see thirty some participants tonight, which uh, I find quite impressive. Uh, congratulations to all the uh, township volunteers who were sworn in tonight. Um, do your town proud, work hard, and uh, we promise we'll listen to your boards and we'll get things done. And our professionals that are here tonight, Michelle, Harry, uh, Doug, um, I think Chris is around somewhere. I might have saw him on there. But uh, you guys really are the backbone to this business along with Richard. Uh, makes guys like me be able to take many naps and know that uh, know the town's in good shape. And our front office staff, uh, Beverly, Kitty, uh, Aaron, Janice, uh, I can't uh, just explain to the other public members that are here how much they, they do um, for this town. So uh, your town is in good shape with all these people. And if I missed you, I know I missed the police department, but uh, that goes without saying they're, uh, they're terrific. And Jesse, uh, you're a good chief. So thank you. We're going to have a great year. We're coming out of this COVID thing and uh, we're not only going to get better, we're going to get bigger. Well, I got to watch that word. Okay. In many ways, but uh, it's going to be a good year uh, and we're going to kick 2020 right in, the, right in the butt and get rid of it. So thank you, everybody. Well said. Mr. Leck. Happy New Year, everyone. I'd love like to thank the community for uh, entrusting me for uh, to represent them for the next three years again. Uh, we're a small town, but there's a whole bunch of big hearts here. I mean, if you just look at uh, the holiday seasons, and um, I think this COVID 
it may have put people or restricted us from being uh, or being stuck at our our homes or our houses. But the expression of the holiday decorations and the warmth that our community uh, shared uh, for people driving around and uh, it's a great feeling to live here in Delanco uh, with the township staff and our employees here. Uh, I'd say that almost the majority, almost everyone that, that works here, it's not just the job, it's part of their lives. And again, they put their hearts into the work that they do for our community. So I'm very, very thankful and proud to live in Delanco and to help represent Delanco. Uh, we've got a lot going on, uh, again, for a little town. Uh, we've got development, we've got uh, businesses coming in. Uh, hopefully that, that uh, helps to offset our tax rates here in town. Uh, and we've got challenges, but we've got, again, a lot of heart and a lot of great minds uh, to help go going forward. So thank you again and happy new year. Thank you. Well, we're near the end of this. Um, we couldn't have gotten through this year without the selfless dedication of our first responders, Delanco police, volunteers of Washington Fire and EMS Station 119. Uh, Township administrative staff, as, as my colleagues on committee have, have spoken, all quickly adapted to maintain public services. Delanco was one of uh, a few towns in the county that actually maintained operations all through the, uh, the hard shutdowns, uh, COVID shutdowns in the springtime in uh, uh, April and May and June. Uh, we kept the lights on, we kept processing, kept doing, uh, kept the business of the town going. Um, and everybody everywhere up and down the line quickly adapted to maintain the public services. Public Works Department, uh, streets, trees, parks, everything, all maintained, improved. Um, just you can't say enough. Um, and it never ends. And for a good part of the year, they've been shorthanded uh, on personnel. Um, I know some of my colleagues have already mentioned uh, people by name, but you know, uh, like to, again, uh, just reinforce uh, uh, Mrs. Martin, uh, Joint Land Use Board Administration for managing the required uh, planning board meetings in the COVID remote environment. Uh, uh, very difficult legal proceedings and sorting out uh, uh, evidence, uh, uh, documentation, uh, testimony, and so forth. An extremely difficult task. Um, Beverly Russell, uh, jack of all trades uh, in administration. Uh, she took on managing the uh, personal protective equipment and coordinating that amongst uh, police, uh, fire administration, EMS, and even the school district. Um, and she also kept uh, uh, the accounting records on that so we could file for reimbursement through FEMA and through the federal uh, and state reimbursement programs for COVID. Uh, Aaron Provenzano has been mentioned in-house, uh, became our IT, uh, in-house IT and, and uh, Zoom expert. Uh, Ms. Esposito and court administration, as I spoke of earlier. Uh, Terry Hamlin, Amy Johnson at Delanco EMS. Uh, incredible work. And again, to our, our Delanco police, uh, just maintaining normal operations as much as they can through this very difficult year, protecting themselves, protecting our community. Um, I did get a little ahead of myself uh, when I was talking about the employee years of service. Uh, we had some uh, uh, crossing guards retiring, uh, Linda Lewis uh, with 31 years of service, Irene Faust with 27 years of service, and a longtime former committee member, a uh, longtime member of the Sewage Authority, Ms., uh, Mrs. Joan Hinkle, uh, was stepping down. Uh, and as Mr. Brown alluded, uh, and uh, uh, there are better days ahead and hopefully we'll be back in the room uh, at the municipal building and a little more of a, a human uh, feel to things and we can have everyone back back in uh, and uh, acknowledge them and shake their hand and uh, in person uh, extend our appreciation for their hard work and dedication uh, to our community. Um, I'd like to go a little beyond uh, the, the scope of the 
uh, immediate uh, our township operations, extend my thanks and appreciation to the teachers and staff at the Delanco schools, to the parents and students for their hard work in trying to pull this together and, and make some semblance of normalcy in the school year. It's gonna be a tough road ahead, uh, uh, catching up and getting things, getting back on, on level. And, this, and an additional thank you to the Delanco Public Library for uh, sustaining whatever operations that they were uh, permitted to, uh, to do during various uh, COVID uh, uh, shutdowns and, and relaxation of uh, restrictions. To everyone, you met every challenge in, that 2020 brought your way with the grace and professionalism. Thank you. You may look at the news and hear how divided our country is. But you only have to look around this room and around the screen tonight to see how uh, see how united we really are. That we really want to work together and bring our experience and, and our ideas to to a public table and make this place a better place. We come from both sides of the aisle with different points of view, yet we are able to come together and res with respect to compromise for the good of our town. This is how government is supposed to work. We are committed to that process. We are here for you and we want to hear from you. Hopefully better days are coming and we'll be able to gather again. But in the meantime, uh, be careful, be safe, wear your mask, keep your distance, keep your bubble small and your community needs you, all of you and you're very important. So thank you so much. And are there any last comments from the committee or Mrs. Lohr or Mr. Schwab? No, anyway, just that I think this would be a good time to let the public know, everyone know that there will be no regular business meeting following this meeting. It was advertised as having a, a reorganization and a regular meeting following, but there was no uh, regular business uh, for this evening. All right. Very good. Um, all right. I think we've concluded our reorganization uh, agenda and to close out tonight. Uh, meeting. Uh, benediction from Pastor Lynn Trout, please. Let us pray. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent from each other. And may we go out into the world to live, love, and serve our Lord in whatever fashion we are called upon to do so. Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> and with that, normally uh, when we're at the municipal building, we, we often have, have refreshments uh, uh, or some sweet item or something to drink. Uh, but uh, all I can say is uh, take a peek in your refrigerator tonight and see if there's any ice cream there or some holiday cookies that didn't get the... Uh, uh, we're coming up. over, Mike. We're all coming over. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anyway, a motion to adjourn, please. Uh, Kate got bounced out again. She texted me, so. All right. I don't, um, I guess she couldn't get back on. I'll motion that we adjourn. Second. So moved. Second. And a second. And all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Hey, Chris Noel. Thanks, Marie. And oh, there's, oh, there's Kate. There's Kate. <laughs> I'm going to say, I see you down there. Good night, everyone. You Thank did. you very much. Hey, Thanks, Harry. Night, Harry. See you, Harry. Good night. Good night, everybody. Happy New Year. Good night, Kate. Good night, Kate. Happy, New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, I am just about out of here. Leave. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Richard. Hi. Hey, John Boy. Well done. <laughs> well done, everybody. Good night now.